Hi everyone, welcome to Bio 163. Um, I'm just making a making you a little introduction video so that I can show you everything. I'm trying to find a better place for my head, but um, so that I can show you everything that you can find on Moodle and um, the third party website that we use, which is um, Mastering A and P. So um, my name is Leanne Daughtry, and I'm your instructor. Um, I teach. I've, I've been teaching at the community college level for for many years i haven't added them up but um i taught for um about 10 years at sampson community college before that i taught at johnston and i've been at wilson since 2015 so i think that's seven years yeah about seven years um <clears throat> but anyway i've been teaching biology classes uh, bio 111 bio 112 and then um, A and P, um, Bio 163, Bio 168, and Bio 169. And I teach them in class and I teach them online. So the course, this is an online section. And um, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is start with, I just wanna um, show you the um, information that you need uh, pretty much for the class. So um, as you can see over here, I am in the URL, I. I have uh, wilsoncc.edu and um, I'm going to click on Moodle and go to our Moodle class. Um, which is right here. It's um, Bio 163 NT1 Basic Anatomy and Physiology. And we're going to look at the welcome page first. Now I move my head. Let's move it up there. I won't always have, I won't always be in the videos that I make for you, um, but I just wanted to be in the first one. So um, as you can tell, I'm not that comfortable with it. So I, I, I only, I just wanted you to see what I look like and that kind of thing. Um, but after that, I won't, I won't usually be in the videos. Um, okay, so the welcome page, um, make sure that you read through that information that you, um, you can see my contact information is here. So my name, of course, Lee Ann Daughtry. My office is G Building, room 117, which is on the first floor. My office hours are Wednesdays from 9 to 11 and Tuesdays from 1.30 to 2.30, but you can always um, call me or email me at other times and um, set up an appointment. My phone number is listed here, 252-246-1245 and my email ldaughtry at wilsoncc.edu. Um, I will put your weekly announcements here, but they also go to your email. So that it's, that's an important thing um, to remind you is to check your email every single day. You need to check your email every single day. It doesn't take long to check it. Um, you can even have notifications sent to your phone although you may not want to do that, <laughs> but um, I don't even do that, but I know people who do it, but, um, but you need to check your email every single day, and if there's an email from this class, you need to read it, okay? So if an email from me or from this class, you need to read it. And then we've got underneath that, we've got the course syllabus, which we'll um, look at together, and the enrollment verification quiz, which you need to go ahead and do. And I think, I'm pretty sure, um, no, you, you could have not done it. So make sure you do this like right away, okay? Um, and it, it doesn't take long, it's just 15 questions, but um, we need that to get you into the next, um, the next screens on Moodle, so the next modules. So the modules are listed over here on the left. So to get into week one, which as you can see has a due date of August 22nd, um, you need to go ahead and do the enrollment verification quiz. Uh, there is also information on how to register for Mastering a &P. Your assignments are going to be in Mastering a &P. Your e-textbook is in Mastering a &P. Um, A lot of resources for you will be in Mastering a &P. Um, But there will sometimes be um, things to do on Moodle. So don't just assume you, don't, you have no assignment on Moodle. And I'll show you how to, how to make sure that you're not missing anything each week. <clears throat> but um, course syllabus, 
I'm going to let you read that on your own. I'm not going to read it to you, but I'm going to point some things out. All right. It gives you a description of the course and the student learning outcomes, my contact information again, and then your required materials are, is going to be the um, basically the access code for mastering A&P because that will include um, that will include your e-textbook. So um, that's what you need for the class, and that's the only thing you need for the class. The, the grading um, distributions, your lecture exams will count 60% and there will be um, between five and six of those counting the final exam. They will all count the same. And then your lab practical exams, you will have two of those um, and they will count 20%. And the quizzes will be 10% and those are um, the quizzes are in um, mastering A&P for sure. The exams, both types of exams, lecture and lab practical exams, will be found in Moodle. But the quizzes and the lab assignments generally are going to be found in Mastering A&P. But those are 10% each. Just a statement about the enrollment verification quiz. You must do that by August 24th. That's uh, technically you must do it by August 24th or you'll be dropped from the class. But if you um, don't do it before then, you're going to miss your first due date. So really, everyone should do it right away. Um, the late work or, um, makeup policy, there will be a 10-point deduction per day for work turned in after the due date. And that does not count the final exam. I mean, of course, when the last day of class, you can't, I know it's not on here, but I'm, I'm hoping that people understand. When class is over, you can't turn work in after that. So I think that date is December 14th. Um, the attendance policy begins with the first day of class, August 15th. I'm going to take attendance based on your work that is assigned to you being turned in by the due date. What will happen is your due dates are typically on Mondays. So I will take attendance on Tuesdays because Monday goes all the way up until 11.59 p.m. So it'll be Tuesday the next day when I'll actually take attendance. And um, if you miss two full weeks of class, then um, I am supposed to drop you from the class. Um, there's information here on the last day for you to drop the class for the semester without getting um, an F, and that's October 24th. So hopefully we won't have that situation, but um, for various reasons, students often um, will, will choose to drop rather than, than to get an F in the class. There's some, inf some other information I want you to just read through. Um, academic dishonesty, uh, I, I just added, okay, it says any student found by a faculty member to have committed academic dishonesty may be subject to sanctions. So I try to make it a little bit more clear about our class because it's online. Plagiarism is using someone else's words as your own. This is going to be for any, for example, essay question I might ask you. Um, one thing that's uh, popular for students to do when they're taking an online exam that's not proctored is to copy and paste the question, Google search it. Um, if you were to do that on an essay question and just type the answer exactly as it is in the Google search, or even worse than that, just copy and paste the answer. Um, that definitely will be caught by the, um, the I guess, our cheating software. Um, and also by me, I, I look things up that way too, just to see if a student is um, copying it from, from Google. And um, so, you need to, at the very least, try to reword things so that it's your words and not somebody else's. Because if you are caught plagiarizing on a lab practical exam or a lecture exam, um, in other words, copying somebody else's words as your own, you'll get a zero for that exam and you won't get to make it up. So I want to make be real clear about that. If you're found to be cheating, um, cheating as in using other, like, um, 
somebody else taking the test for you or something like that, it's a little bit harder to catch when, when we don't proctor, we don't have the exams proctored. But if you are found to be cheating, um, you'll also receive a grade of zero and you won't be able to make up that exam, which normally that hurts your grade badly enough that you end up having to retake the class. So hopefully we won't have any of those issues. I think the, the biggest one is gonna be the plagiarism. You just cannot copy and paste answers. Um, just remember that. Uh, let's see. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Then there is, there's information on Title IX, um, which is about discrimination, based on anything really, <laughs> um, but read that. And then, uh, the course schedule. This is the part I want you to print out. I want you to print pages eight, nine, and 10 out, and I want you to have them um, to where you can refer to them weekly, um, and sometimes more than that, so that you know exactly what's expected for you to complete that week. This is how, this is what you refer to, okay? Don't, don't um, count on emails, don't count on Moodle, don't count on mastering A&P. Come to your course syllabus and check things off as you complete them. So in week one, complete enrollment verification quiz, you put a check after you complete that. Register for or cross through it or something. Register for mastering A&P, that needs to be done um, almost as soon, like as soon as possible after you complete that enrollment verification quiz because you can't do any of your assignments in mastering A&P or MAP, MAP, you can't do any of those assignments until you've registered for Mastering a &P. Read the course syllabus, check, view the welcome video, which is what you're doing right now, um, and then view the chapter one recorded lecture and slides. Those are posted in week one module in Moodle, okay? Um, and I've just recorded the lectures using the slides. Um, you know, I've just basically, I review the slides with you. <clears throat> Okay, um, complete the chapter one dynamic study modules. Those are found in Mastering A&P. And complete the chapter one quiz, Mastering A&P. Complete lab one, Mastering A&P. And then post to the open forum or the forum in the weekly, it's called the weekly Q&A in Moodle. So go through and make sure that you do those things. And then um, I would always try to stay about two weeks ahead as far as, I don't mean ahead in your work, but two weeks ahead as far as looking and seeing what is due so that you can um, be flexible, you know, in how you um, schedule, you know, when you're going to do your work and all that. So that was the syllabus. You're going to do the quiz probably very soon. And then let's look at week one. Okay, and every week will be kind of set up this way. You see there's a weekly overview of the chapter. Um, this first chapter is an introduction to anatomy and physiology. It tells you the learning outcomes for the chapter. And it gives you the instructional content. So this is how you're going to learn the material. You're going to view the recorded lectures and slides. You're going to read chapter one in the e-text and you can go here and click and that will take you to Mastering A&P. Um, I try to put those links, at least one of those links in each week. Um, so it'll always be bold and green. The activities you're going to do are the dynamic study modules in Mastering A&P. Post any questions that you might have to week one. Q&A, and that's in Moodle. Down below, if you scroll, you'll see it. Complete the chapter one quiz in Mastering A&P. That's your assessment. The slides are posted here. The recorded lectures are posted here. And, and these, again, are just me. Um, they're in 15-minute um, segments. And so, so each one of the lectures is 15 minutes. So you don't have to watch them all at one time. You also have for this week, you have um, figures that you can practice on your um, uh, terminology for chapter one. So you can print them out and practice. Um, and then here's your week one Q&A. You'll have one of these for each week that comes up. And the only thing I haven't really reviewed with you is mastering A&P. Um, so I will uh, try to make another video, a separate video, where I just go to Mastering A&P and just give you an introduction of that. 